So, um, what plan is for tonight? We will have open Skype. Our, I'll put our Skype ID on the screen. And one of the practical things we will do is, since I've got um, beloved brothers and sisters, we will do um, take turns and then take on the Skype calls. And daughter of Christ will be the one. Uh, daughter of Christ will be the one kind of who leads it because she is the one like who didn't do anything today. <laughs> Um, is that okay? Yes, of course. Okay. So, um, those of you who are in the chat, if you want to get our attention with your questions, please, please put add sign in front of DCCI Ministries. Oh, let me just take the first call. Hello. Hi, Darren. Hello, sir. Um, can you tell us who are you? Uh, Mohammed Chari, I'm the one who called earlier, showing um, three days ago about the, um, you know, which one is God, Allah the impotent or Jesus the Almighty. Do you remember? Um, yes, sir. Um, how can we help you tonight? Oh, uh, by the way, um, I used to be on Discord. Uh, the name is Rory Husky. Okay. So, um, what is the reason you called in today? How can we help no, you, brother? No, it's just for a brief moment. Um, because I'm not going to hog your time. Um, I'm going to say that um, God bless you all. And um, I've left Discord. I'm not coming back. Okay. And um, si um, sister, with your bravery that, you know, you got st uh, the guy tempted to murder you in Speaker's Corner, with your bravery, I hope free speech comes you know, like um, uh, free speech is not censored anymore. So we can criticize and mock that religion because that religion needs to be destroyed quickly. Um, anything else that you want to add, brother? Or? Yeah, I I'm going to say that you are a lioness at heart. Um, so um, I am, I'm, thank you. Thank you very much, brother. I'm just. Um, a Christian who is falling in love with Lord Jesus Christ because yeah, Lord Jesus uh, Christ is falling no, no. in love with me and no, no. I am I'm trying just... to engage with the false ideologies in the intention that the individuals sister. will hear and turn to Lord Jesus Christ. Um, sister, sister I'm, I'm going to go in a minute, but you should check out Proverbs 28 verse 1. Yeah. Proverbs 28 verse 1. Yeah, we can do that. It says, the wicked flee when no man pursueth them, but the righteous are bold as a lion. That's why I said you're a lioness. Um, I, I would just go with I'm simple Christian, but thank you very much for all those um, God bless labels. In the name thank of you very Lord much. Jesus Christ, amen. Thank Bye. you very much, brother. God bless you. Um, so what we will do is... Um, If you want to get our attention in the chat, please put at sign in front of DCCI Ministries. And I've got four, in, three individuals here who will be doing proper work, making sure that um, they don't miss any comments. So that my, I am very much aware that there are lots of people are waiting res me to respond to their emails, so um, that you don't become one of them. Let's just take this call. Hello. Why, hello, and how are you? Peace of Christ be with you, brother. I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Uh, peace of Christ be with you as well, sister. Can you just tell for those of uh, those of people who have no idea who you are, brother, can you introduce yourself to us? Why, sure I can. My name is Chris Claus. I am a Christian. I live in Ontario, Canada, and I love the DCCI ministries and the gospel that you guys share with the Muslims over there in the UK at Speaker's Corner. I'd also just like to say I believe it is KL, Carol, and Daughter of Christ. May peace of Christ be with you all as well. And peace of Christ be with you too, brother. How are you? I do wonderful. I, I just wanted to call in. Um, I, I just had one simple question uh, for Sister Hatun. Um, and, and that would be that uh, we hear all the time that Islam is this this wonderful and peaceful religion and that women are treated so wonderfully in that religion. Um, my only question to you is, 
what happened to you, and we won't have to go into it, was the person acting as a true Muslim in your eyes? Um, thank you very much for the question, brother. Um, can you just um, help me? Um, I'm sure you are very much aware that English is not my first language. Uh, can you be kind enough and help me have to spell word peace for Islam is the religion of peace? How do I spell peace? Yeah, see, the, the way that I believe that um, Muslims would want us to spell it is different from the way that I believe that we would actually spell peace when it comes to Islam. The way that I would spell peace when it comes to Islam is P-I-E-C-E, -E, right? Um, but again, I, <laughs> uh, it peace is just a, the way that I look at it, uh, sister, is Muslims have Muslims have been redefining words for years, have they not? <laughs> um, you can't do much about it if you are not that much confident about your ideology. So you need to improve. You need to do some improvement. Um, but let me let let's just um, turn to thought of Christ. Thought of Christ. Do you think Islam is the religion of peace? Um. Religion of pieces, yes. Uh, like brother says, uh, peace is defined differently uh, by Muslims. They define the words differently. Uh, if by peace it, you mean slay the infidel um, until they are subdued, uh, kill all those who leave the religion, then yeah, it's a religion of peace. Um, they have one narrative, which is is in in the media and you know, out there is that it's peace, but then they have another narrative which is opposite going on behind the scenes and they play this game of denial when the, re the reality is what we see happens and it's the divide and conquer thing. So that's what I think, sister. Thank you very much. Um, brother, what do you think? Is the Islam religion of pieces or religion of peace? Oh, it's definitely a religion of pieces, and it's been a religion of peace is ever since uh, Muhammad was born. I I would say, uh, well, we can go right back to um, now. Now, the reason why I would say that this person—I'm not even going to say that he, he's a man or a gentleman—but this person over in Speaker's Corner that did what he did a few days ago is acting as true to Islam as one possibly could is that I believe there was a story of, of a blind man that had a slave girl that was pregnant with his child and that she kept disparaging Muhammad. And then one night he ended up getting a knife and pressing it into her stomach and the baby even popped out, killing her and the baby. And when he was brought to Muhammad the next day, he told Muhammad exactly what had happened and Muhammad uh, um, proclaimed that her blood was halal so that it was a fine killing and that, that nothing was to happen to this man. So right from the days of Muhammad to the, what is it, three out of the first five uh, caliphates, I believe, uh, were slaughtered by other Muslims. Again, the religion of pieces. And it's just continued uh, generation after generation after generation after generation, of course, right? So I, I agree with Daughter of Christ. And of course, you, sister, that that it is uh, definitely a religion of pieces. Um, but I'm so happy that um, the Muslims over in the UK have um, people that are filled with the Holy Spirit that is preaching the gospel to them. And and my prayer is just that these Muslims come to know the true Jesus, their Lord and Savior, so that they will bow their knee and confess with their tongue willingly that He is their God. Amen. Um, thank you very much, brother. Um, sister, do you want to make any comment? Um, brother Cal, do you want to make any comment? Um, I agree with you that it's the religion of peace. Um, P-I-E-C-E. -E. I will help you with your pronunciation after the live stream, sister. Um, pieces. Yes. Religion of pieces because it usually gives you, um, if you know they have their way, it's a piece of you over here, a piece of you over there, and another piece um, somewhere else after they uh, chopped everybody up. So, um, yeah, 
I agree. I would say a lot of Muslims probably say, or probably feel like they do have a lot of peace, and perhaps they have a lot of, they think, and they're told to believe, and they're told to strive for a lot of emotional peace, a lot of fuzzy feelings, peace, that's just in them, inwardly. But I would ask them to look not just inwardly, but look outwardly. Look at your history. And look at what kind of physical, uh, concrete, evidential peace has, has been born of your religion. And so how much of it is real and how much of it is fuzzy feelings? And please, I say, you know, use your critical thinking. Use your, uh, the, your, your mind that God gave you. And look at that peace. And can, can, you, can you reconcile that? Can you reconcile the peace that you're told to feel in your heart and in the pieces that you see all around you, the pieces that have victimized your ancestors and that oppress your women and children and your brothers and even those of other sects and other countries? Thank you very much for um, that, brother. Um, um, Brother um, Chris, what have you been up to? Uh, what What have you been doing recently on your YouTube channel? Um, how uh, can How can uh, people follow up you? Yeah, sure. They They can look me up on YouTube under Chris Claus, of course. Uh, they can go and find me under Facebook. Now, I rarely use Facebook anymore uh, because Muslims like to try to put me in jail all the time on Facebook, uh, but I do use it to promote my YouTube channel. Uh, so I am on Twitter. It's under Chris Claus there as well. Uh, so you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter. And I'm also on Instagram. I'm jumping on all of these social medias nowadays to try That's to, good. Uh, That's to, try good. to combat the uh, Muslims. Now, there is one uh, platform, TikTok. I was going to get on it. And then when I got on it, I saw a lot of uh, videos that I didn't really want to watch. So I, I was like, I'm going to stay away from that app. I, I gotta, I'll, I'll try the other ones. I'm going to stay away from that TikTok one for now. Um, but most of them get uploaded to YouTube anyway. So, but just for everybody out there in the chat, and also for you, sister, and, and everybody there as well, I do have a debate uh, tomorrow evening at 8.15. Now, it is very late for you. It's 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you may want to uh, watch that that's maybe Sunday like, morning. That's two o'clock our time. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah. that's all right. We are, we usually do nothing in that time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be uh, debating. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think he's a Muslim, um, but we'll be debating the incarnation. Okay. Uh, so definitely a, a worthwhile topic to be discussing, and hopefully, uh, definitely pray for me that the Holy Spirit will work through me yeah. so that at least one person comes to. The knowledge of Christ. Yeah, and that's gonna um, stream in your YouTube channel. Yes, sister. Okay. Okay. So if any of you haven't subscribed Chris's channel, please, please do so and uh, follow up some of the work he does, or follow up all of the work he does. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for calling him, brother. It's yeah, good thank to, you so it's much, to hear your voice. Yeah, Peace of Christ be with everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. Um, so, sorry, um, so we will keep eye also in the chat to make sure that, um, we kind of see your comments and your questions. Um, do we have any comments there or any questions in the chat? I've got three individuals here. I'm going to let daughter of Christ take this call. Um, sister. Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, I, I'm, my name is Francis. Uh, I'd love to speak to Hatun, please, if that's possible. They don't want me, sister. My first call, my heart, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> they ask for you. And so, uh, of course, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Um, hello, sir. Hello, 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 ma'am. How are you? I am okay. Are you Muslim? Are you Christian, sir? No, no, no. I am an ex-Muslim, so I'm, I'm, I'm a newborn Christian. Um, praise God. Um, so do you believe Muhammad is false prophet? I absolutely do. Muhammad is a false prophet, and uh, and Allah is his like moon god or whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm me and my family have been watching you. I just wanted to give you a good news because I know you've had a 
really bad time on Sunday. And we prayed a lot for you. Me, my mother, my sister. Uh, I've got an autistic brother, so of course he can't speak. But but thanks to God's grace, we all four of us uh, are, are, are people of Christ now. Wow. Thankfully, we left our religion. Uh, so I'm basically God. from... So I'm basically Thank from you. Pakistan. My, me and my family are from Pakistan. So, yeah. uh, so obviously I'm new to Christianity. So I'm not, I'm not someone who can say and affirm that, oh, I know everything about Christianity now because I'm still learning. Yeah. So, so not- of course, uh, but watching your videos, learning things from you, and it's it's such an eye opener that uh, how for 20, so it's it's like for literally 28 years of my life. And my mom's life would be around like 40, 48, 47 years. My sister's life would be 30 years. We have been in that cult. And and I'm telling you, the amount of the amount of abuse, the amount of death threats we have got from our family, uh, you know, the extended family, it's unbelievable. But thankfully, we're in this country where we're we more secure, we're more safe. But then knowing that people can do something like this to uh, you, Hatun, I am... I, I, I'm lost for words because okay. we so, are uh, in a society. So, brother, brother, let, yes. let me just let me just first of all say um, thank you very much for your um, prayers and th- please pass my love to your family for uh, praying for me. Um, we live we live in a broken world and what happens behind the cameras or in front of the cameras just reminds us how much world needs Lord Jesus Christ. So um, don't get kind of discouraged or disturbed by what you see on YouTube or the things like um, uncomfortable things um, happened on Sunday. Today is new day and in our diary we've got today and that day. So that we've got only two days in our diary, today and that day. Today is new day. So we kind of continue and get on, um, get on with life and enjoy um, enjoy the life Lord Jesus Christ giving to us. Um, absolutely, so, absolutely. Um, what What is your reason? Um, what is your reason, brother, that made you to uh, leave Islam? Uh, uh, my 20, faith, my twenty eight years. Twenty eight years is good amount of time for yes. you to understand Islam and fall in love with Islam. So yes. why did you fall out of Islam? Why did Allah choose to misguide you? <laughs> Um, I would say personally, so it was my, it was my sister first. Uh, she, it was Ramadan time, uh, two years ago and, uh, she was fasting. Of course, my, my family lives outside London. I'm the only one living in London. So my sister was fasting and she saw videos of David Wood to start off with. And then, and then she started clarifying the whole thing, you know, like uh, proofreading herself of what is what he's saying. Is it all true or something? And she shared everything with me. And then uh, someone I started speaking to an ex-Muslim myself, uh, understanding because I, I give my whole background. Me, my, my mother, my sister, uh, we were never, ever uh, like extremely religious people. We were we weren't some sort of a people who. Who just to try oh, all this Alhamdulillah, Mashallah? We didn't say these sort of things, so we were pretty secular in our ways, to be fair. So I don't think our we were devout Muslims ever. That's one thing I'll clarify for sure. But but the but the but the thing is, it's more like for me, uh, reading all those disturbing things, and the, and then especially when you're. When you're taught all these sort of things like, oh, I show, I show 16 years old. That's what that's what they do in Pakistan, a Pakistani mosque. Oh no, 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 no. It's not, it's not true. It's just, it's just old times. So you know, you you can imagine age can go wrong and stuff. This is how they used to, uh, you know, like get you into the religion and and make excuses for all the horrible, horrible things that man did, right? <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be here, and I'm, I'm openly saying, Muhammad is someone who's definitely gonna go to hell. He is a pedophile, and he does not deserve any respect. He was not the man of, uh, man of God. He was a man of Satan. Simple as that. I'll put it out there. It took me, a, it took me literally four days to see all the corruption in there. My, my feet, uh, literally. 
Um, I, the earth swept out of my feet. I'm telling you this right now. I felt sickened to my core that this was something I was in. And and how I got out of it so quickly, just just not questioning myself. I'm like, you know what? I need to I need to get out of this because at the end of the day, this is a ex, this is a sickening religion. The amount of things that I've got to realize, especially through you, Hatun. The amount of things that one, one ex-Muslim has told me about you and the things I've learned from you is unbelievable. And things that I've learned from you, Daughter of Christ, I'm telling you, you, you both have like shook me uh, and opened open me up and say, look, this is what your religion was. And then, and then I started seeing, studying, uh, and then I started studying the Bible. I started, I started uh, watching your videos in regards to Christianity. And that was it. Hallelujah. I was like, you know, and because because at the end of the day, we are human beings. Some of us uh, do do need something to cling on, don't we? It's like some people make an excuse; they need a religion in order to feel associated in the society. But that wasn't me. I I took my time learning about Christianity. What, whether this is true, whether this is something I should get myself into. It's not like I, I just went into it blindly. I learned and I and I took my time in order to get into Christianity. So did my family. So, um, first of all, um, thank you very much, brother, for sharing that. And I just want to, those of you who are watching, um, can I see the number? We've got approximately um, 384 people are watching. And I just wanted to point out something. Um, brother expressed that in somehow his sister come across with um, videos of David Wood Acts um, 17 apologetics. It is amazing that I visited Saudi Arabia a couple of years ago. Um, I visited um, Cameroon. Um, so Saudi Arabia is a pretty rich country where like, kind of identified as the headquarter of Islam, where people were following the videos of David Wood to learn about Islam and get out of Islam. In Cameroon, Life is very different. No water, no electricity, or like luxury we have here. We don't have them in Cameroon the way we have here. People learn about Islam and run away from Islam. It is amazing that Lord is using Brother David with like so amazingly. So beloved ones in the chat, please, please, please remember Brother David Wood in your prayers and his family. And give thanks to God for using his using him amazingly. And um, I let daughter of Christ make comments about uh, her wisdom on Islam. But I'll just say something. Um, we we are just a tool. David Wood, daughter of Christ, and other brothers and sisters. We are just tool um, in this world. And Lord, Lord is willing to use us and giving us privilege uh, to work with him and for him. So if he used us in any form or any shape for anyone to hear the glorious gospel and turn to, turn to him, all we can say is I start focus on him and all praises goes to him because we are nobody and we are nothing. Yet we are identified as his children. Um, Daughter of Christ, Lot of Christ, um, what do you think um, about this good news? We've got a brother on the line. Uh, Lord brought him to himself. First of all, brother, I am just ha so humbled that it's not very, very often that I'm lost for words. Um, yes, yeah, she's <laughs> lost for the words. This is amazing. I, I'm telling you, Lord of Christ, part. listening to you about so many things as well. Like sometimes when you when you talk, uh, um, because okay, sometimes you brother, have to. Brother, yes. so I know daughter of Christ for a long time, okay? Yes. And right now she's sitting in my kitchen and she's crying. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Honestly, sister, I, I'm telling you, I you pull both yourself work together. You can't cry in my live streams. I know <laughs> it is joy of cry, but yes. um, we can't we can't afford you to cry. Just pull yourself together, okay? Oh, sorry. No, the, bo the amazing work that you both have done, I am telling you right now, I 
I, there are a lot of ex-Muslims who cannot speak out because they're right now in complete danger. I know at least five more ex-Muslims who love who love you both, who've watched you both, but they can't call you. They can't do anything because they still live with their family and they're scared that if anything happens to them. They come to my home for some sanity. Every weekend they come to my place for it's, some sort of bit of sanity. It is, for us, it is just then a great encouragement that... Um, Lord is actively at work. That's exactly. all we are looking and we do get to hear and see that Lord is actively at work. And I must say, um, I don't want to be mean, but even seeing daughter of crisis full of tear, joy of the tear is pouring on her eyes. <laughs> and we've got, we just started live stream. She needs to pull herself together. Um, <laughs> that is like double amazing, okay? Boundaries, brother. Boundaries. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, sorry. Um, yes, I do. I do want to speak to you. Um, first of all, congratulations to you. And Thank you so much. Your mum and your sister. Um, I um, you really um, encouraged me and um, consoled me. Um, at this minute, this ministry, this um. The reality that we live is so, this world is so dark and the only light we have is Christ. And to hear you come to Christ, it's like how I would feel if my family, like my mom and my dad came to Christ. Yeah. So you just give me hope. You've just given me a hope that it's possible. It is possible. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sorry that I'm... I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm it's crying. absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Emotions need to be poured out sometimes. We we are emotional human beings. As as Gar says, the, the love, the amount of love he's put in us to show each other is what we need to do for each other, don't we? So yeah, um and you know you know the saddest part is because my younger brother he's just he he's nonverbal autistic. He cannot speak, he cannot do anything. I'm just so glad that you know when we put like uh like uh, when he goes to church, he feels good. Like he can't speak. He cannot he, he cannot understand these sort of things. But when he goes to church, you can see the smile on his face. The way he sits down, he calms down. That's the gracious. That's a, that's the, that's the graciousness of God. It shows because every time he heard a, a, a dhan, can you imagine? The, the he used to put hands on his ears because it used to it used to like uh, how can you say it, it used to irritate him. But he goes to church. He when he sees the singing, when obviously he can't stand up, he can't he he can't re reenact or, or 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 say or everything that he possibly can. But it's nice to see that even he understands. He understands. And then the second saddest part is that my father he passed away as a Muslim, right? He passed away um, nearly like what twelve years ago. So it's it's unfortunate that uh, my father couldn't come into this, but I'm. But still, at the end of the day, uh, at the end, it, it's God who has to decide, or it's God who has to judge us. Uh, we can just pray for the uh, for the kind people who's passed away, no matter on what religion. But God's gracious. So, and I'm a new Christian. At the end of the day, I cannot ask you said uh, like, uh, like uh, the way you full on questions about Christianity. But all I can say is like I'm so thankful to you all. For all the for all the love uh, for all the love that you give for all the amazing work that you both do, and especially how you both uh, have changed so many lives, you don't know that yet because the five the amount of five Muslims and ex-Muslims that come to my home just for that piece of time so they can speak their mind and cry their hearts out. I'm telling you, they, no one else would. No one else knows that apart from us. And it's very loving to see that you that they watch your video in secrecy. They have to go outside and hide to places. They can't go to church because what what if their family say something? This is the sort of this is this is the this is the this is the sort of people that I'm 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 what looking in this country and thinking, are we still living in the same deprived Pakistani uh, Pakistan land, or or an Arab land? Sorry, as a Muslim land where people have to hide their identities in order to protect themselves because they are not in that position right now to secure themselves. It's so sickening to watch that we being in such country, all these sort of sickening things happening in our society. And we are just looking here and thinking, God, what's happening here? All, all I'm doing is praying. Uh, and but there's, but there's not much I can do myself. Can you imagine? 
I, me putting myself out there and my and, and my family. Uh, well, it, I've said a lot, but I honestly thank. I, I, it's unconditional thank you to both of you. Uh, my family spares of all of you. Um, the love that you've shown us, the love that you've given us, uh, we we repay back with our prayers, with everything we possibly can do for you guys. But thank you so much. Um, thank you very much, brother. Both of us. Um, I'm just um, I'm just really happy that um, the Lord Jesus Christ visits um, the houses of Muslims and um, saves them. And um, I'm very happy for you, brother. Um, Thank you so much. Please, please use now your testimony too um, with your family and with people who is safe for you to uh, share with and just stick to the word of God and please pray for us and we'll pray for you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank for sure. Thank you so much again. Thank you very much for calling him, brother. You're very welcome. God bless you all. Take care. God Have a good evening. You. Um, one of the thing, um, one of the thing I want to encourage us is one of the thing I do, and I want to encourage you is when a uh, someone from Muslim family becomes a Christian, it is important. Like I pray for that individual five years every day. Five years every day, I pray for her, for her faith, for her growth in Christ. Also, one of the things is helpful for us, and those of you who are in the chat and we, in the body of Christ, we are all different with different gifts. Um, if prayer intercession is one of your gifts, just pick up a couple of name of ex-Muslims um, and pray for their family. Pray that their family come to know Lord Jesus Christ. Because I think once you know and you are confident in identity, um, in identity in Jesus, and once you you are once you experienced and seen what Lord Jesus Christ did for you, and knowing, knowing there is no any other way for anyone else to have eternal life beside Lord Jesus Christ. It it is very much heartbreaking to know that your love your loved ones do not know Lord Jesus Christ yet. So, therefore, it is important that we do take time and pray for the family of um, our ex-Muslim friends. Um, and Lord, Lord will do his part. We will do our part. Hello. Hello. Sir, can you hear me? Sir, I can see you, but I cannot hear you. Is that intentional? So we've got a caller on the line, camera is on, but I cannot hear you, sir. And I'm, I think I will ask you to call it again, if that's okay. Uh, before call, before make the call, if you can hear us, please, please turn off the computer and then turn it again. And then that might be a um, helpful tool um, as you um, kind of, we can hear your sound right now because I cannot hear you, therefore I'm going to hang up on you. So we do have a call on the line, but um, there is no sound. So, um, daughter of Christ. Yes. Um, as we heard that individuals are joining, Lord is bringing individuals to him and his family. Um, now, since you stopped crying... <laughs> Can you just kind of tell us what are your thoughts? Um, my thoughts, are, I'm just very grateful and happy to God. Um, the, the devil does come against you um, a lot when you, um, when you do this kind of work, um, when you um, speak against Islam and speak for Christ. So the devil does come sometimes and say, is it worth it? Um, even with yourself and 
the things that happen, you know, and to hear to hear that brother and his family come to Christ is a real encouragement um, for me on a personal level because his family sounded like it sounded like the set, you know, it reminds you of your own family, a family of ex-Muslim of Muslims, who are now ex-Muslims. Praise God! But I'm not happy because he left Islam. I want to make that very clear. I'm happy because he came to Christ. That's why I'm happy. So um, we're not just here to make Muslims leave Islam. We're here to make them come to Christ. And um, I want to hand over to one of my brothers and sisters because uh, I'm uh, I'm not doing not doing very well. So I'm going to hand over to, uh, if you don't mind, sister, to Brother K. Brother. Um. Well, I believe. Well, um. I can't. I'm, my family is not uh, is not Muslim, but I believe really um, you know Jesus says that that yeah that uh, that you know if we if we pursue him um, you know that may cause that may cause uh, division or separation with the world that may cause separation with uh, those we love um, and that. And, and really, a lot of those could be with our families, and a lot of Christians, uh, not just Muslims, but Christians of all backgrounds. I believe we've experienced loss, we've experienced division, um, and so I pray, really, that uh, pray for the families of of all um, devout Christians who have chosen to put uh, Jesus Christ above all, and to. Uh, to glorify him above all because he is worthy and so and we are adopted into his family i believe in that way i think he knows he knows that if we follow him that many of us do lose our family and so he says here you know i love you so much that i've adopted you into my family i'm the family of god family of the father the son and the holy spirit thank you for that brother hello Hello, can, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Um, sir, who are you? Yes, my name is Jamie. Uh, I'm a, a Christian for about four years. Um, just want to talk to you about um, about Sunday. Uh, I'm, I'm coming down to Speaker's Corner. Um, so just just a moment, just to get a couple of things. Um, Jamie, you, uh, Jamie, you are Christian. You've been Christian for four years. Um, can I get quick confirmation that you believe Muhammad is false prophet? And you believe Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of the Father? Yes, I do, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, please um, continue. Yes, um, the, uh, the, the uh, apps says that um, I get there for about 12 o'clock at Speaker's Corner. I'm just wondering what time you lot get there. Uh, brother, why are you coming to... Where, where, where are you based, brother? Why are you coming to Speaker's Corner? Uh, in Sheffield. Um, I'm coming down just to uh, support you all, to meet you. Um, it'd be nice to uh, see if we can share the gospel with people as well. Hmm. Um. Uh, I think... Sorry, I'm, ju I'm just... Um, Please do forgive me. I'm just thinking to have to verbalize my response. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Speaker's Corner is a great place for all of us to um, engage with people of other faith. Um, and my purpose at Speaker's Corner, I am mainly focused on engaging uh, followers of Islamic faith. So... If you are planning to be at Speaker's Corner on Sunday, please, please make sure your intention, your only and your full intention is preach our glorious gospel. I would yes, feel course, yeah. I would feel very uncomfortable if you are traveling all the way, all the way to Speaker's Corner because what you have seen on YouTube last week. Uh, we live in a... I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I want to kind of verbalize that. But we live in a broken world where people need gospel. And in in this broken world, 
I think last thing right now our focus needs to be is uh, we watch a video and then I I concern let me turn up the speaker's corner if that your that if that is your in some point little bit your intention uh, beloved brother I just want to gently encourage you to pray about it but if your full intention is come and engage with people of other faith mainly Muslims because they are the kind of main people group at speakers school and we do have a taste as well then um, please um, if that is your main intention please do come with in that intention people start gathering usually from 11 o'clock from 10 o'clock but um, mainly um, kind of regular gather from 2 o'clock afterwards so uh, whenever you think it is best way for you to uh, move forward just um, reflect on it and uh, we take it from there and then there will be another point I will discuss with you once I finish this live stream which I cannot discuss that publicly if that's okay with you brother yes that's fine sister okay. um, yeah I've got experience in it um, the, the church that I used to go, used to, go to used to go um, uh, we called it outreach yeah. where we went to the Sheffield city centre and uh, preached with um, tracks and uh, on microphone as well yeah. um things like that yeah it is always very encouraging to hear like i've been to sheffield a couple of times to do um street preaching stuff it is very encouraging to hear uh there are lots of different places in uk and we do have brothers and sisters who are actively on the streets engaging with the lost preaching our glorious gospel so thank you very much for uh Thank you very much for actively proclaiming your faith. So I really, really appreciate that. And probably um, it is one of the another thing we need to do as brothers and sisters, add uh, street preachers and street evangelists in our prayers that um, we live in a time, it is very difficult on the street, just read John chapter 3, 16, because someone gets offended for you as you read the Bible. Therefore, it is very easy to get arrested. So, beloved ones in the chat, please, please put um, uh, street evangelists, street preachers um, in your uh, prayer book as well and pray for their safety, but um, above all, pray for their, uh, faith, their faithfulness to scripture as they stand on the streets and preach to uh, people. And in this occasion, like I'm grateful Jamie is in Sheffield going out and preaching our glorious gospel. So thank you very much for that, brother. Amen. Thank you, sister. Thank you very much. I'll call you after the live stream, if that's okay. And then yes, have, a, have a quick chat. Apologize. I didn't answer your question the way you wanted. I apologize for that, but I'll um, talk to you after the live stream, if that's okay. That's great. Thank you. Okay. God bless you, brother. Thank you. God bless you, sister. Um, not only people um, all around the world from Indonesia, from Japan, from China, or even from the States, people turn up the speakers gonna, but we can see um, in north of country, people, uh, people would like to come and um, uh, be present at speakers gonna and um, talk about our glorious God. Um, beloved sister. Yes. Uh, what do you think about the uh, um, caller um, who um, called in and, and expressed that he and some of his family members came to know Lord Jesus Christ? Um, what is your uh, feelings and what is what is your um, comments on that, if you do have any? Um, it reminded me of a scripture in Luke 15 7, when Jesus says, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over 90 and nine just persons, which no need, just, which no need, no repentance, excuse me. Um, to me, that says volumes that like his whole, like his family was able to come to Christ, which is, is beautiful. And I understand why go to Christ, um, you know, um, was able to, sh was shedding tears because it's, it's something that, we want for everyone. 
you know, not just because they're, they're, they're Muslim. We want everyone that, whether you're an atheist, if you don't know our triune God, we want you to know him. We want you to know him personally. Um, because in this world, as daughter of Christ mentioned, it is dark. It is wicked. Um, and Jesus Christ is the light. And that's it. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, do we need to take any questions or comments in the chat? Got anyone's attention? Um, there was a, a comment made um, by someone that you don't share the gospel. I don't share the gospel? That you're just obsessed with Islam. It, it is good that people notice that I don't share the gospel and people want to hear the gospel. That's mm -hmm. very great. Um, sister, when we say, um, when we say gospel, um, can you just tell me what is the gospel? The gospel, I will take it from, I go to scripture for everything. So you have to just give me a minute. Um, but I will go to, um, okay. I, I go to first Corinthians 15, um, says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you received, and wherein ye stand, by which you are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain, for I delivered, un I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas and of the twelve, and after that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present day, but some are fallen asleep. So that is the gospel, um, that Jesus Christ... Um, not only was he crucified and that he rose, but according to the scripture, he was prophesied of, of coming to be the savior, the lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. Um, that as John the Baptist said, behold the lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world. So that is the gospel message. And so, I mean, since you haven't heard it, um, now that you have, repent and receive it. Or what are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. God who created universe, everything and everything in it. God who made our bodies perfect. You can't, you can't even imagine how perfect our bodies are, how quickly they are recovering. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm very, very good. Okay, very and good. who are you? My name. Is it important to for you to know my name? <laughs> you can call me Muhammad. Okay, Mr. Muhammad, are you Muslim? Are you Christian, Mr. Muhammad? Does my name not say I am a Muslim? No, I I know ex-Muslims who become a Christian. They they still have their, their name Muhammad. <laughs> So can I just get focus think, and I attention, think, uh, please? I think. So can sorry? I get can I get focus and attention, please? Um, Mr. Uh, Muhammad, uh, how, can, how, how can we help you? Why why did you make this call? Oh, I made this call to understand what you are all about, Islam. What, uh, Are you hearing can, me? Can you can you hear me well? Can you hear me well? I I did hear you, but I didn't um, fully get your question. Do you mind repeating your question for me? My my question is, uh, you are speaking a lot about Islam. That's a statement, sir. That's not so a question. Would... Can you please Sorry? rephrase that in the form of a question? Oh, okay, okay. I would like to understand what is Hatun's problem with Islam. Thank you very much for question? thank you thank, thank you, you very much for um, asking that question and bless your heart. 
Bless your heart for bringing up such a question. I always I'm it, so it, I am I am always so excited when people ask me to bring up the problems with Islam or what is my problem with Islam. Okay, um, thank you very much. I would like us to go very very slowly, Hatun, so, so I can sir, understand sir, you and uh, you sir, can prove your point. Mr. Mohammed. So let's mm. do this in very basic level. Um, Mr. Mohammed, can you be kind enough and then tell me your top 10 reasons from Islam why you are Muslim and then I'll give you my reasons what are my problems with Islam because I've got like huge list. Um, I love to show you but like, oh. I've got I've got the files on this side of my thing and then they're all problems with Islam. So so we just I want to go to the basics uh, with the level you have to express my problems with Islam and I must express like yeah. amazing question. So please give me your top 10 reasons how um, yeah. why did you come to the conclusion that there is no problem in Islam and you follow it. Okay. Uh, I asked the question first so I would appreciate an answer first from you. I answered your question my, with the answer so, uh, with the question. I think that's countable and that's biblical. No, the, you, you cannot ask me a question on a question. Can you I answer answered, my question first? Mr. 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 Mohammed, I answered mm. your question. Listen, I answered your Sorry, question with a question. So I am guessing I'm not to I am interrupt. guessing I'm guessing you are already jumping into my sentence. Don't do that again. So I am guessing you are um you don't have like your top ten list. I will be kind enough and then give you a little bit time for you to kind of put your list together. Here's my problems with Islam. I will put that in a couple of different categories. Please do bear with me. Once I finish my once I finish my statements, I will give you time to give your list and then we can um, discuss from there, Mr. Muhammad. My problems with Islam. Islam is false ideology because Islam claims that it comes to confirm the Christian scripture but it fails to confirm the christian scripture it is historical okay, event that lord jesus sorry, christ sorry, I'm, not sir, to, don't I'm not meaning to interrupt no mr mr mohammed mr mohammed mr mohammed sorry please. give me a, give me a minute please no 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 no, no. mr mohammed mr mohammed don't request. make me to me don't make me to speak over you you asked me the question, uh, that's what I, I answered your that's question with want. a question, and you are not happy. Now I am answering your question with a breaking down answer. So please, please hold your chair and listen. Once I finish, I will give you time to reply. And one of the extra things you Thank can you. do is simply use a pencil and then write down the things I am saying so you can use them in your reasoning why Islam is so beautiful and delightful, whatever you believe about Islam. So now, be kind and just listen. Thank you. So, um, I am assuming that you kind of didn't listen first part. I'll take it from the beginning. I believe Islam is false religion um, because um, that's one of my problems with Islam. Islam is false religion because Islam cl Quran claims that Quran comes to confirm the Bible, yet denies the Bible. Bible and history confirms that Lord Jesus Christ, eternal Son of God, died on the cross for the sin of mankind. Quran denies the death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ. Historical death of Lord Jesus Christ is being denied by the Quran. Christian scripture identifies Jesus as the eternal Son of the Father, who, who was having fellowship with God the Father, in the, who was having a fellowship with God, God the Father in the unity of spirit before the foundation of the world, Islam comes and denies that. Christian scripture teaches God is triune, one God, Father, Son, and Spirit, three persons. Islam comes and denies that. Islamic understanding of God, Jesus is the son of God, is simply sexual context, and that is very disgusting and disturbing. Islam shouldn't be exist just because of one of those reasons. I believe, I believe I, one of my problems with Islam is Islam false religion, because Islam take away value and dignity and work of Lord Jesus Christ and blasphemes against Lord Jesus Christ. 
my problem with Islam, Islam teaches dehumanization of non-Muslims, identifies me as the worst of creatures, and then puts me in the statue of Dimme. My problem with Islam is Islam d does take away my right to worship something else beside Allah and Muhammad. Islam takes away my right to change my religion. Islam separates me from my loved ones. Islam separates me from my family. Islam causes danger and then take my life away if I change my religion, if I was a Muslim. Islam is very dangerous and very problematic and all, all very much messy because the teachings of Muhammad and teachings of Allah, when they come together to put this, according to tradition, Quran regarding the children, abuse of child in Islam. What Muhammad did to Aisha is disgusting and how Allah backed that up, backed that up in Surah 66 verse 12 is double disgusting. Divorcing a child and climbing top of a child is not acceptable. And that has been practiced in today's society thanks to teachings of Islam. Islam is very bad, bad and bad and problematic ideology because it is, ident it is making women to go to the FGM that is very dangerous and disgusting. Islam takes away value and dignity of women even to Muslim women, by putting them in prison because they did not cover their hair. Islam causes, uh, encourages uh, those, those women who are not covered to be abused. Islam encourages, <coughs> Islam encourages prostitution, which is not very good, yet your Allah is encouraging that. Your Prophet thought it was all right to simply break a marriage of his son and marry his daughter-in-law. That is very much disgusting. Um, your God is so problematic, he prays to himself or he prays to someone else. Your Allah just so problematic, he needs to be, he needs someone, some t people to remind him. He doesn't even know about you. He doesn't even know about the believers. Uh, your God is encouraging your walking Quran man called Muhammad to commit um, commit shirk and Muslims to do so as well. Attributes of Allah by itself, it's all very much messed up. Allah knows nothing knows best what is his attributes mean. I am very much having problem with Allah's balance, how he is balancing with not having left hand and two shins, um, uh, two right hand and his shins. I am very much curious about how does he shave his shin. I am very much um, curious and having problems with what Allah was doing before the foundation of the world. I am having very much problem with how can Quran be eternal? I am having very much problem how come Islamic Jesus is better than Allah? I am having very much problem how come Islamic Holy Spirit, Ruh of Allah, knows much better than Allah? I am having very much problem when it comes to um, teachings of Muhammad on um, um, being able to force yourself, your wife, beat your wife, all those domestic violence and their practition. I am having very much problem when it comes to divorce, giving your wife to someone else, someone else to have sex with your wife so your, you can take your wife back. That is disgusting. And then description is given in Hadith is very much disgusting. Um, that's just not acceptable. I'm talking about halala marriage. If you think in one point, no, I was talking about cup of tea. No, I'm talking about halala marriage. Um, the thing is identified as muta marriage is double disgusting in Islam that you are getting rid of marriage and just making marriage for money and only a couple of hours. Double disgusting, double disgusting shouldn't be acceptable and shouldn't be practiced at all. Yet, yet, uh, Muhammad put those things all in the scripture. I am having, I am having very much problem with Islam. Muhammad's encouragement for shirk, asking people to go and kiss the black stone. I am having very much problem when your prophet did not even recognize the voice of Gabriel. 
uh, sorry, voice of Satan and worship the pagan gods, that wasn't enough. Allah stopped, stepped in and encouraged Muhammad and said, oh, it's all okay. I am having very much problem that your prophet used Allah as a cuddling blanket. I am having very much problem that how the Quran has been perfectly corrupted, how the eternal word, verse of all, internal word of Allah is being eaten by the ships, how your Muslim um, caliphs destroyed and b burned their own book. I am having very much problem that there are many different Arabic Qurans today and no one wants to talk about it. I am having very much problem that people are just so much sensitive that Islam cannot even be criticized. I am having very much problem that my brothers and sisters in Muslim majority countries are suffering because of the teachings of Islam. I am having very much problem that, um, what else I am having problem? I have to pay if, uh, if Islam takes over, my value and my dignity will be taken away, plus my money will be taken away from me as gangsters, Allah and Muhammad acts like a gang. Um, I can give you more list. I think um, I will stop here, sir. Yes, give me your list now. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, have you made your points? Oh, um, since you asked think, that, me. I think, I think since you asked you, that, you me, can, can you be kind phone, enough? For now, for now, sir? I think you can take a break, right? Sir, sir. Yes. I'm not going to allow you to bully me. Okay, so now. Can I'm you be kind enough? You. I'm not bullying you. Can you be kind you, enough? You spoke. Sir. You spoke and I Mr. listened. Mr. Mohammed. Mr. Mohammed, before I pass you the mic, before I pass you the mic, Mr. Mohammed, can you be kind enough and then just repeat my points so that I know that you listened. And then after that, please make your response. Thank you. If you if you are not oh, going to do that, much. I'm going to hang up on you. Just be aware of that. Please repeat my points mm. and then make your response. Thank you. Can I speak now? Yes, please. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Let me start with your points. You said uh, the Bible confirms. I'll, I'll just cut it. I'll just make it in short. Hatun, can you hear me? I'm hearing you, sir. Good, good, good. Then you went to the Trion. Then you went to Blasphemy. Then you went to Muhammad and Allah, then you had a problem with the children, then you had a problem with the FGM, the prostitution, uh, uh, daughter's marriage, uh, divorce, muta, blackstone, uh, different Quran, world problems, and the jizya. The many I can remember because it's like you almost preach the whole constitution. So now, can we take it point by point? I want to answer you each point the way you want it, because I cannot, I cannot jump from one topic to another, to another, to another. So let's start with one. You said the Bible confirms, the Quran confirms that the Bible is the book of God. Dear Mr. Muhammad, I'm going to cut you off here. Yes. I'm cut you off here mm -hmm. because I did tell you what I'm expecting from you. And as being Mr. Muhammad, you are not dealing with my expectations and you are not responding to my expectation. So thank you very much, mm. even though you didn't make all the points I made, but thank you very much for expressing that you listen 1% of what I said, that's still good enough. Um, can you please, can you please now take your time and then give me your top 10 reasons why there is no problem in Islam? Thank you. Why Islam is the ide okay. true ideology? All right, thank you very much. My only one and one point is Islam is a true religion. And it has got no defect. That doesn't answer my question, sir. To... Sir, what was my question? What is your... What, what is was your question? my question? Hmm. But was the question, my question is, you said, I, I must give you a, a point why Islam is, is, is the true religion. So I'm giving you the, 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 the answer. 
Give me your top 10 reasons, sir. Don't give me those stupid statements. So be kind enough. Sorry. Give sorry, me, give sorry, me, I'm, give I'm, me I'm, your I'm top sorry, 10 I'm sorry, points. I'm sorry. You you should not use false language. Uh, foul language. Stupid is a foul language. Oh. So I'm let me just you, let me just step I in deserve, that. I what deserve, is what, let, let, me, let me let me let me let me let me let me just step in that. Step in that. Let me just mm. calm down. Calm down. So you have a problem with people to say stupid. Of course, stupid okay. is a foul language. Okay. Um, Unless it's not. If it's not, then you're stupid too. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So what would you say to your prophet and Abu Bakr for the certain languages? Um, he's using, sir. No, 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 no. Let me let me confirm with you. I've told you. I'm going to prove to you. Islam is true and it's correct. Give me, give me your so top you ten reasons. Since 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 you are no, going to, to start you, crying, just give me just give me your top ten reasons. I want to answer you step by step. So do not dictate to me how you want me to answer you. Really? Now let's, I'm going to dictate to you. I want humble. you to give me your top 10 reasons. Just give me the reasons, okay? Give me top 10 reasons and then we will break it down. No worries, we will no, break I, it I, down. I will, I will, so give, give me you your top 10 reasons. To, I will give you an answer according to your points. Uh, no, 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 no. Not my points. Why not? According to no, no, your why points. So why, why are that you shows me that actually you, you didn't dictating? even have a reason why Islam is so true. Why there is no problem with Islam? All you are doing is, oh, let me get her objection so I can answer. Are you three years old child no, no, no. In a, who is trying to kind of learn how to walk? It doesn't work like that. No, no, sir. you, you, so you I are, want you, you to, acting, I you want you to like give me child. your <laughs> top ten reasons. Okay, reason number one. Start, please. Why? Why why are you demanding top 10 reasons? Why Give you, me why your are you top 10 reasons? reasons. No, 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 no. You are dictating to me. You should give not dictate. Me, why are you dictating? Give me your time, top 10 reasons, pretty please. My dear, do you understand English? Excuse me, sir. I am speaking sir. to you. So she Sorry. gave you yes. about 30, maybe 50, maybe 75 reasons why Islam is false. The least you could do okay. is give us more than half of a point. You gave us about half of a point and it was quite vague. I had no idea. None of us have any idea what you meant by that, that Islam has no defect. I mean, do you believe in Muta? Is Muta like perfect? Is Muta flawless to you? Um, and so you gave us half okay, of a point. Talking, if you could clarify that point and, and give us nine additional okay. points. Can you do that? And just to be clear, you did call her live stream. She didn't call you. So if she demands that you give her a top 10 points, and give her the top 10 points. You should have, they should roll right off your tongue because it's so beautiful, it's so wonderful. <clears throat> but she has yet to find anybody that can answer it since Islam is so peace and so beautiful. But you can't tell, you can't describe why it's beautiful. That, really? Come on, let's okay, go. Just, you know what, okay, right okay. now. All right, then. all right. Okay, 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 no problem. Let, let, let me give you the reasons why Islam is perfect. The Quran, the Quran, the book, the Quran is word to word, well written, well spoken, and it has no defect. Muhammad came in as a messenger to deliver the message. There is no prostitution in the Quran. There is no FGM in the Quran. The Quran preaches one Lord to be worshipped alone. Is that good enough reasons for us to continue? I did ask you 10 and you did not give me any 10, sir. Pull yourself together. Pretty please. Cherry on top. Yeah. Just give me your top 10 reasons. Is, Thank you. There is no there is no muta in the Quran. There is no kissing the black stone in the Quran. And the Quran is the most democratic book you will ever come across against any constitution of the world. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean by democratic, sir? Could you clarify that? Ah, oh, democratic. Yeah, it's beautiful. What, you know, what do you mean by democratic? Two ways. It can be it can be demon crazy and it can be democratic. So, which one do you want me to tell you? 
I think I think I know Islam which one it is. Please continue right. your points. Islam gives a right to every human being to exist in the world without without being dictated to or uh, so, forced to anything. Complete total freedom. It can be funny to you, but I am there to answer you, so we can go for it. Okay, um, you gave me you gave me nine points, sir. All I can say at this stage, bless your heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. The reason the reason the reason I'm saying this, I really mean that. Mm. Okay, mm. bless your heart that you came up with such a reason. Mm. You came such you came with such a amazing reasons. Can you please be kind enough with me? Turn Surah 4, verse 24 with me. Can you be kind uh, enough? Surah 4? Surah 4? Um, yes, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. 24, please. Surah 4, 24, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and then also, can you be kind enough and then tell me if you are Quran-only Muslim? Uh... Uh, you identified yourself as a Muslim, so are you Quran only Muslim, sir? Quran only Muslim? Every Muslim is Quran only. Hmm. According to whom? Well, I think that's the first scripture they must all understand. Okay, so bless your heart. Um, Surah 424. <laughs> I'm getting there. Where are you getting from? From Kaaba to UK? Oh, no, no. I think, that's insulting. I, think, I think that is insulting. You should have patience. That please. was a compliment. Bless your heart. No, Surah no, no, no. It's not a compliment. I take it as an insult. Oh, well, just drink drink something. It will help you. <laughs> 424, sir. Surah 424. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to get uh, to grab my phone, yeah, just off the the, the charge. I the Quran, the Quran, the Okay, four twenty-four, four twenty-four. Uh, Hatun, you can continue to read it. I'm, I'm listening. No, sir, it is your book. I'm sure you will be proud to read everyone in English, please. Oh my God, so lovely, so lovely. Cherry on top, please. <laughs> sir, yeah. you think this is bad? You should see how she talks to the kitchen crew. Off of the live stream. Oh, the kitchen crew. You have no idea. Really? So, yes. Um, I've, well, I've got well, guests, and, and um, Mr. Mohammed, I've got guests. And my, as you can see, yeah. my guests guests are not very happy the way I host them. So they're yeah. complaining to you. That says a lot about you. So, um, I, I, I can see the, let, yeah, let's they, they had... Uh, let's focus, had, uh, on, let's okay, focus on the very basics. Very basics. Um, my kitchen yes. crew is being saved and they've got amazing love from our triune god mm -hmm. but um okay. i think we just need to focus on you surah 424 all right no problem i'm here I'm, i've got the surah here yeah? and all married women except those your right hand possess uh, the decree of allah upon upon you and lawful to you are beyond this uh that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, desiring chastity, not unlawful sexual intercourse. So for whoever, so for whoever you uh, or you enjoy of marriage from them, give them their dues compensations as an obligation. And there is no blame upon you for what you mutually agree to beyond the obligation indeed. Allah is ever seeing and wise. What do you have a problem with this? Oh, bless your heart. You didn't even pick up as you read it. So, mm. except except those your right hand possess, okay? 
except those you write and possess. Okay. Yes. So mm -hmm. also uh, it says mm -hmm. and and also forbidden to you are all married women except okay except mm -hmm. those your right hand possess. Who are those your right hand possess? And then what do you do to those your right hand possess? Okay, no problem. Um, I'm reading. I'm, I'm reading. Uh, sorry, uh, are you finished? Are you finished so I can speak or you want to speak? Sir, it seems to me as you read it, you didn't even pick up what is the problem. So I'm just trying to help you to unpack the problem by asking okay. the question. If that is not helpful, be kind enough and pull yourself together and then answer the, answer the question on very basics of what is this prostitution type of marriage under the muta going on in Surah 424. Okay, let me see. Let me let me let me repeat it in in uh, in uh, English because I can see your your assistance there, a uh, 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 well spoken in English, uh, and also prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possess this is the decree of allah upon you and lawful to you are all others beyond these provided that that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property desiring chastity not unlawful sexual intercourse. So for whoever you, so for whatever you enjoy of marriage from them, give them their due compensation as an obligation. And there is no blame upon you for what you mutually agreed to beyond the obligation. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing and wise. Where is prostitution here, Hatun? Sir, thank yes. you very much for reading it again. Mm. And thank you very much for intentionally missing the point. So, With, what is I the will, point? I will, I will bring it again. Okay. Okay. Are you allowed to? Are you allowed to marry with a woman who is married? Sorry. Are you? Yes. Allowed to marry with a woman who is married. Okay. I, I, is that your question? I'm, sir, yes. since okay. you read the verse twice and you failed to pick up the this marriage, which is kind of muta, use, term used muta marriage, but it is one of the way of prostitution making money, I'm trying to break that down. Okay? So, are yeah. you allowed to? Does Islam give you right to? had sex with a woman who already has a husband. I, I, I think maybe you are not... You, can I repeat and read it I again? don't want you to read it again because like you already read it. But, no, but if, you think, you, if you think your English is not good enough, my and English if, is you, very think, good, if you think as you read it, there is like something is not linking with the understanding skills, Please do read, it, do read it to yourself. All I am asking is, does Islam allow you to have a sex with a woman who is married? It doesn't say that here, so I will not have sex with a married woman. Okay. Mm. And also, mm. forbidden to you are all married mm. women except... Mm. Those your right hand possess. Yes. So who are those your right hand possess? Would be the one you will have married as a wife. Hmm. The, yeah. Your right hand possess. Of course. Once you, I can you give me the reference for that interpretation, sir? Sorry? Can you give me the reference for that interpretation? What do you mean reference and it is written as I'm telling you? Well, uh, it is written as you are telling me, sir. Thank you. Bless your heart in that moment. Mm. Let me ask you again. This time, mm. listen and then think and then answer. It will be helpful to what, you. What part of this don't you understand? So I can All of the you part. understand. All of the part I don't understand. understand. All of the part I don't understand. But if that is the point, I will give you an English speaker here. You can make mm. your point. So let me make my okay, point. Give me, 
Listen, no? it seems you don't understand. The, I know I don't English understand what you are saying. So give me, so, give me the speaker who understands English. I will, I will pass you to that. Just be well, mm. be, be patient. Surah mm. 4, verse 24. Allows mm. you to have a sex with a woman who is married. Where Surah 4, that? verse 24. Allows you to have a sex, allows you to have a sex with a woman only for short time. No, Surah 4, no verse 24. That. Surah it does four not say that. Listen now, listen. I know you <laughs> struggle to understand my English, and I know we struggle to understand the Quranic English. But pull mm. yourself together. So I be, I will pass you on someone who speaks better English than me. But I I also I would nice. love to express. I would love to express. Uh, one day, one day, one day, I will teach Allah and Muhammad better English. I am longing for that day. So uh, don't worry, it will come so, too. So focus now. <laughs> focus now. Mm. You marry with them and then you pay their wages to those your right hand possess is mm. identified as your slaves. And married, they are just married. They've got husband. They've got husband. They are married. And then you today, 21st century, identify Surah 24 as become <laughs> marriage. Any any human being who is, has cells in their brain identifies prostitution. Done for money, done for pleasure, married man is doing lots of ugly things with another woman. And this woman can even be married. And then back up back of that back up of that goes to Surah 24, verse 34. Mr. Allah with his only open shin expresses that actually. Don't do prostitution, but if you do it, Allah is so forgiving, he will forgive those who does it. So, I am assuming, since my English is not good enough for you, sir, uh, I am already struggling, how did you put Allah's Arabic together, but daughter of Christ, um, this gentleman is on the line, he's called Mr. Muhammad, and he struggles with my English. So, all I am trying to put together, pull yourself together, sir, okay? All I am I trying am to put always. together, sister, half Surah 4, verse 24, talks about muta marriage, which is today's prostitution, backed up by Surah 24, verse 34. Can you please um, ask him with your beta English, and you, since you understand beta, um, give him opportunity to tell us if married woman, sorry, Muslim man is allowed to have a sex who is not his wife, and yet woman is married to someone else. Um, yes, yeah, I don't know why you're laughing. If I was in your religion, I wouldn't be laughing. Uh, laughing Sura, so Sura, right let me, let me speak and then you can, shall I speak and then you can answer? Uh, I don't have to ask you because actually it says in Sahih Bukhari 3139 and Sahih Muslim. We are reading. Uh, sir, okay. listen, listen. Let me make my point and you can tell me. It tells me why that verse was revealed. Surah 4, verse 24. The reason why is that Muhammad was in the battle of Autas. I'm reading it for you. Narrated. Abu Said al-Khudari. He said, on the day of the battle of Autas, we took women captives. We took women captives who had husbands. The companions felt uneasy to have sexual relations with them because of their husbands. Then Allah the Most High revealed the verse. And women already married are haram for you, prohibited for you, except for those whom you possess. So those who they possess, sir, were married with the husbands in the battle of Autas. They didn't, the Muslims had higher standards than your Allah and your Muhammad. They didn't want to have sex with them because of their husbands. According to Sahih Bukhari 3139 and Sahih Muslim 1456, that is why the verse is revealed to tell the Muslims it's okay. And sister, um, I'm sure he's not going to understand my English, but also Abu Dawood, in Abu Dawood account, it is woman, um, sorry, their husband is present there when these Mr. Muslims are have, want to, Muslims, Mr. Muslims were ordered to have sex. With they them. were women who had husbands, who had children, who watching, had families. Watching them who had families, and they had some Muslims come raid them, Ghazwa, 
I, I, I feel you know Arabic. Ghazwa means, Yaghzu means to invade. Yeah? They invaded them. And then the Muslims took female captives, captives who were married with children and who had husbands. And they didn't want to have sex with them because they had husbands. The ayah came, وَالْمُخْصَنَاتُ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ إِلَّا مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَنُكُمْ Married women, no, they're prohibited. Except those whom you've possessed. They've possessed them through invasions and coming over them with swords to take their women. So um, how is that okay with you? Are you done? I'm done, sir. Very good. Can you open the, the ayah, please? I've got the ayah here. Very nice. Now, please, would you kindly uh, read the first, or must I read it for you and make sure I read it correctly? And also, prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possess. Right. This is the decree of Allah upon you. Sir, sir, you've read it, you've read it sorry, before. Sorry, Can sorry. you explain? I did not interrupt you. I did not interrupt you. Do not interrupt me. Sister, can you put him in, a, uh, in his place? Sir, his sir, place. Uh, I'm no interrupting continue. because I'm interrupting no because continue. you're repeating the same thing. I'm yes, asking you. because you are not, you are misinterpreting it. I'm reading it from the Quran and you are giving me your own Bukharis and uh, whoever. You know, I'm not here for man-made religion like Matthew, Paul. I, I, I agree, it's a man-made religion. How can you Thank be you okay, sir, sir, how can you be okay with a verse that says married women except? Why is the except there at all? Except, except, do you know the meaning of except in English? I know it in English and Arabic. Don't play the it? language Can game. Can you define what is except in English? <laughs> you don't, are you going to ask me what except it, means? Uh, exactly, because it seems you don't understand. When I understand. Fu I understand means, fully, yeah, sir. In marriage, in marriage. Not in marriage. It says it continues to say until you have married them. Where does it say that? Let's continue. Why? Because you are not reading it. You see, that's the problem. I'm reading it. How can, sir? How can you marry a married woman? Sorry. How can it's, you marry? <laughs> How can you marry a married say, woman? Sorry, I'm telling you. Okay, okay, let me repeat it in English because I know it's not your language. It's my language. Both are my no, languages, no, sir. I'm language. fluent in both. You, you, it is sir. your second language. You uh, are no, no, no. Listen, by, don't play the language English game. Teacher. It means the same in both languages. How can you marry a married woman? So let me tell you how. You give them your wages. <laughs> Their wages. That's you how you marry them. See the problem. Prostitutes. The problem with you. You are just out to defend okay. Islam, and you don't even want to know it. That's the problem. You want to give it oh. your own meanings. No. Atuhum, atuhum, ojorhum, atuhum, ojorhum. Nisa mitzawijat, atuhum, ojorhum. They are married already, sir. And the verse is saying it's, so you have to give Arabic. them, you have to give, oh, yeah, I've just spoke Arabic and he doesn't know because I, I hear the silence. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I give you the, I give you the chance to speak. Uh, sir, we, we tell you, we ask you to speak you. and you play games. Don't play games. No, I'm not playing no games. I'm buddy. asking I'm reading, you a question. I'm reading what you are pointing out. We read it a hundred times, sir. Clearly. Sir, we only have, we only have tonight. Clearly. We only it have says tonight. very clearly. Yes. It says very clearly, and also prohibited to you are all, all mm -hmm. married women. Except, except, except. what does except, except mean? All except, except those your right hand possess. Right. You just, this is a decree from Allah. Don't, don't need to go there, just stop there. Just stop. Sir, sir, let me put in, all right, so I'm going to create my own Quran. I'm going to put in the brackets for you. So it's talking about... Married women, except the married women whom your right hand no, possess. That's what it really no, means. No, 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 no. Why are you, why are you putting your own words? Because he says... I just told you that I was going to... I'm writing right my own Quran possess. right now, tonight. But that's what it means. I'm clarifying it for you. So we're talking about married women are... Yes, married women, except the married women whom your right hands okay. possess. That's... Okay, thank you. The clarification thank you, thank for you. that sense. Can give you explain minute, that to please. us, please? Give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. Yeah, please explain that. Okay, thank you. Okay, let, let me read it again, please, okay? And also prohibited to you 
are all married women except those your right hand possess, okay? This is the decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond this, provided you seek them in marriage. So where's the problem? Okay, you so have to marry this so woman first. He's, he's, he's the, the is he, he's, he's the something kind of seems to missed in the reading. Um, I don't want to be disrespectful. I am assuming you are much older than me since I'm 18 again today. Uh, well, in that, in that, in that, <laughs> in that um, I think as you read the verse more than four times and you especially read the part except faster, <coughs> all I am thinking is what you are reading, you are struggling to understand that might be, I don't know, whatever reasons are there. And we did have, now shush, please, we did have, <laughs> we did have a perfect English speaker stepped in with her perfect English and with her perfect Arabic. She tried to kind of get the answer from you, but mm -hmm. all, all it happened was like hitting the wall. Oh, yeah. And then we did have another perfect English speaker stepped in mm -hmm. and then emphasized the same point. And you read the same sentence again and again, and again you hit the wall. So from that, all I'm assuming is you identify yourself as a Quran only, but you are very much shamed what that only Quran teaches. And that is absolutely sure. fine because you started your call with asking me what are my problems with Islam because you knew there were problems with Islam. And your to nine, list of nine points you made, they were all to do rebuttal to my problems. And I don't want to crush your heart, but I think your heart is just being going to crush right now. That actually, yes, you are expressing me there are whole, there are problems in Islam and you couldn't even put together Surah 4 verse 24 because no. you know that having sex with a woman who is married in front of their husband is disturbing, ugly. And implication of that today in Islamic label is muta. That is very much disturbing and ugly because it can be done for short time. And then you pay them their wages. They worked for you. They worked very hard for you as you have sex with them. Now you've got to pay them their wages, pay them their check, and then move on. So... I think with my broken English, which you struggle to understand, and with your perfect English, which I struggle to understand, we all need to compromise here and then come to the conclusion. Surah 4 verse 24 teaches something very ugly, not only for Muslim community, but also for humanity. It wasn't only just 7th century, but it is also for 21st century. And... Uh, Link to that with the prostitution is simply Surah 24, verse 33. I would love to give you a chance for you to read it, but I am guessing it's going to be the same circle. You will read the sentence and not move on at all. So therefore, I don't see there is any proper reason for us to move forward unless, unless you can give me proper answers without any shame. So uh, now I'm going to give you a chance to get confirmation from you? Are you willing to honestly engage with this or you are just simply simply going to ignore? If that is your case, I don't see there is any need for us to continue this conversation, Mr. Mohammed. Are you done? Are you done she, speaking? Sir, she just said you were done, actually. Okay, then. no, 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 no. <laughs> she, she just did. Yes, she she. did. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, I will. I will read this verse again in English. No, 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 no. We got. It. Why no? We, we got. No, 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 no. We're not, not doing number five. Why no? We're, Why we're not. not? We're, we're good on it. You just don't Why understand no? it. If I say because everybody can very, have cake except you, sir. Designing means... chastity, yeah, like not a... yeah. unlawful sir. sexual intercourse. Sir, so sir. how are you fitting your version here? Sir, if I yes, said madame. everyone can have cake. Except you, that means no, where is cake you are coming grouped from? in. Cake is for the queen. She got cake in treetops in Kenya uh, at the treetops when she became a queen. Are, that sir? was the desire. Okay, cake Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, <laughs> I know, I know you think Islam is funny. 
I know, I know I you are making fun of your prophet. Funny. Now listen, I now listen, now listen. Funny. Of course because you are going to say that because you couldn't even give me your... Magdalene, yeah. Can we say how Jesus left the tomb? See? So yeah. now let me respond, what? let me respond, let me respond. So of course yes. you are going to make fun of your prophet. Of course you are I'm going to make fun, fun of, of your, your prophet. God. I'm teaching of course you, you are you going to... Know. Of course, you are going to make fun of your book as well. But book? one of the thing, one of the thing I always come across is, since you cannot even respond, and as I said, I, I really don't listen I now. So shush and listen. Even you please, shush pretty and please. listen. Okay, so even now, you must shush and listen. Pretty please, I said pretty please. In my next pretty please, okay. I will it's simply you have manners. You okay. must learn to pretty speak please, with manners. pretty please, and we will hang up on him. <laughs> so he is the problem. He's the problem. A Muslim who is laughing at his book, a Muslim who is laughing at the word of Allah, a Muslim, a Muslim who is laughing at Quran, simply doesn't want to engage with any conversation. The moment you push them and then press to figure out if you are allowed to have sex with a married woman in front of their husband, no, who no, I then no, no. Shushna, Mr. That. Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, wait. That. It does not say I know that. it doesn't say Do that. I know it there. doesn't say that, but yes, so why because are you, you are sleeping, when there? you sleep, it doesn't say that. Okay, so yes. now listen, listen, this is your second call in. Can you please listen and listen what I'm saying? Because it seems my bad English, your perfect English is not compromising at all. When it comes so to the word of Allah. First. So it says, except those are married, but just forget, forget them. When you look at the ones your right hand possess, it doesn't matter they are married or not. You can have sex with the married woman. And my sister read you the hadith, and then she explained it to you in Arabic as well. We noticed that there were not only English problem, but there were also Arabic problem. So you can have sex with those women who are married. You pay them their wages, okay? And then that wages come from the enjoyment you have them, okay? Last time when I, I hired someone to do some work for me, I pay them their wages, what kind of job does this married woman does that you need to pay her wages? What is that enjoyment you are receiving from that that is going to cost you to pay her wages? And that her is the one who is identified as married woman whom your right hand possess. Are you willing to? Be honest and faithful to your scripture and don't make fun of your prophet so because people will come to you with knife and that wouldn't be very nice. I know from my experiences. So you don't want to make fun of your prophet because people can't handle that. And be honest and then just tell me. I, I'm curious about accept those your rent, rent and possess, married accept those your rent and possess, wages and enjoyment. Okay, can I, are you done? Since it seems like even can asking that question shows you didn't even listen, but please, I, I'm going to give I, you I time to you answer the question. Well. I heard you very well. I heard you very well, man. Listen, man. He said, this is the decree upon, uh, this is a decree of I Allah don't want you to read it. To Mr. Muhammad, you should be better than your prophet. In marriage. You should it be better you than... Them in marriage. Why are you telling you should be better than your prophet, Mr. Muhammad. The reason you should be better than your prophet, I know in the time of your prophet, there was no Oxford for your prophet to go. I know in time of your prophet, he was so busy, he couldn't control himself. All he did was running behind the woman. Mm -hmm. But in 21st century, there is Oxford, you can go. In 21st century, you can even go to the nursery to learn the alphabet. In 21st century, even if you've got sex addiction, all those kind of things, there are medical people 
therapies can help you on those kind of things. So you are better than your profit. You have that chance. It is very simple for you to put together. Instead of reading me the same verse, seems like you read it, but you don't understand what you are reading. Just not helpful. I'm not asking you to read it again. I'm not asking, oh, let's read it and then practice our pronunciation. That's not the class we are running here. I don't think I'm in a place of running pronunciation class for Surah 4 verse 24 after six times. <laughs> like not acceptable, seriously, not acceptable at all. So let's break this down. Beloved. Um, sister, he mentioned a few points. You want, you want to uh, let's just the unpack. Class? Yeah, just unpack. All, let's unpack all of them, okay. and then hopefully, Mr. Muhammad. Point is not yes. I heard you. That's not the point. You need to hear, and you need to listen. Like it's not like oh, when I scream, someone hears me. But I want them, the person, to understand what I say. When someone screams for help. You want that sound to come come to you as a help, and then you need to act for it. Just I understand, sister, because they're taught that the Quran is so beautiful. If you just repeat it enough times, it will get through to the heart of the kuffar. Uh, no, you. I'm checking my heart. It, it, checking my heart. Yeah, it is. It, my heart is still there. It's ugly. My heart is still there, Allah which has been washed away what, by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, but it didn't go through. Okay, six times didn't go through because verse by itself is problematic. I didn't want to cut you off, beloved. It's Continue. okay, sister. Every time you read it, it's just as ugly. It's saying Allah is giving a decree, yes, which is what? He's making some unlawful women lawful. He's saying unmarried women, you can't marry them, except those who are still, still married, still married, but they are your right. That's why he didn't call them wives. He called them right hand possessed. If it was marriage, you would have called them wives. They are called your right hand possessed. This is a different term. It means you've acquired them. Your hand has possessed them. How did it possess them? By war. Right? So they are allowed to marry those married women if they give them money. So you have a married woman. You give her some money. The verse is very ugly. It says, for that enjoyment, you give her some wages, like you hire a worker to fix something for you. It's the same thing. So that is what the verse is saying, sister. He's, for yeah. whatever you enjoy from them, give them their wages. Oh, I had a sex with you. I think that was only five pounds worthy. Yeah. I'll give you five pounds. Oh, we had a sex. I was expecting it will be... Uh, 25 pounds worthy, but no, I'm not going to give you that much money. I think it wasn't worthy anything. He's asking us what accept means. This is what Islam reduces people to. Asking them what simple words means. Accept means except. apart apart from. That except. means, let's just say, all Christians except those. That means they were still talking about Christians. The verse is saying all married women except those. It still means married women. So, uh, I don't think it's a language problem, it's a heart problem, sister. That's my um, understanding. And we do acknowledge that there is a problem in the heart, and that problem of heart, heart by itself is problem, is being fixed by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. With his death and his resurrection, Lord Jesus Christ fixed our hearts. So, um, I'm just going to... Get, there is a message. Someone is like messaging me all the time. Can I say something while you look at that message, sister? Yes. Um, repeating a lie multiple times doesn't make it any less of a lie. Um, I don't know what he thought he was going to accomplish by reading that six times. It's still the same lie that he's believing in. Do you have Okay, brother, have you got any point to add? Um, not too much. I would say uh, yes. I mean, when you get to the point where what well, he's uh, he's trying to to you know to discuss the definition of accept, um, and really that's 
if to clarify that uh, really what is that's that's how I look at it. It's you know all and also prohibited to you are all married women except the married women whom your right hands possess. And uh, so that's really it. If he doesn't understand that, then I would say um, he should go back to his his uh, teachers or his uh, those people he trusts and, and ha ask them to explain it. But I think he also, um, he accused my, my sister, he accused daughter of Christ of making up uh, the sources, making up Al-Bukhari and, and Sahih Al-Bukhari. And that is, uh, that right there tells me that uh, he is completely out of touch with reality. Um, and yes, he is just, yeah, just, just uh, in his own world. So with this, at that, at, that's, at this point, I'm not sure if there's anything that we can say, any kind of proof, any kind of uh, explanation that could reach through, through to this man, but I pray that uh, that God reaches him, uh, reaches his heart, and and opens up his eyes uh, to the truth of, and uh, really you know, helps him see, uh, really the darkness and just the uh, dehumanizing orders by the so-called Allah. Um, thank you very much for that, brother. Um, hello? Hello. Or have I echo? Uh, no, you don't have echo. Who are you? Uh, it's the crazy Viking lady. Oh, um, peace of Christ be with you, sister. I thought, um, sorry, someone, I, someone else was calling in. I just thought that was that call. Oh, sorry. Um, peace of well, Christ. You want to take that call? No, 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 no. I think that this was that. So sorry, I think something missed up. That's why. Um, peace of Christ be with you, sister. How are you doing? Ah, uh, fine. Good. I'm gonna pass you on daughter of Christ if that's okay. Oh, that would be awesome. The poor girl. No one wanted to talk with her before. Hello, Viking lady, sister. I love I you. You know that. <laughs> I would. I would love to talk to you because I, I think you you might as well uh, help me with this issue as Hatun would, or maybe. Uh, one of the kitchen crew would. Yes, I'll, I'll ask them as well. Go on, sister. This, ki just... this kitchen crew needs to clean the kitchen, by the way. <laughs> you know, like, they made my house just so messy. Like, seriously, like, they move, they make mess. But anyway, go on, oh, sister. Did, did you finish the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> um, the cheese ended up uh, in... Um, I think in Islamic paradise, we put it in the bin. <laughs> they, they, didn't, they didn't want to eat my cheese. I was no. heart crushed. No. Uh, well, anyways, I was wondering, because we know that um, Allah says that it's okay to lie using the taqiyya. Yeah. Uh, in the Bible, uh, in James, I think it is, we know that he's very, very uh, making a strong point that the tongue is a very uh, tiny organ, but yeah. it has the power to kill or to add joy or whatever you would say in English, right? Mm -hmm. You can destroy and you can create with your tongue. And when I listened to this poor Muslim, the lies were dropping off his tongue like honey. It was like, there was absolutely no stopping him. Uh, so when Muhammad said he swore on the Bible, he would have known James as well, because we know that the Bible uh, was already put together at the time that Muhammad lived. So he should have known that it goes against God to lie. Am I wrong? Um. I don't think he knew anything of the real God. <clears throat> um, he put his hand on the Torah and said, I believe in you and everything that's in you. Uh, but he didn't read. He was illiterate. So there's no way he didn't. He would have known anything that's in it. Notice that he put his hand on it. Um, he didn't open it because he couldn't have read it. And when he wanted to ask things about the Torah, he asked the Jews. He didn't ask Allah, who was meant to have known everything. Uh, yes, um, I believe that Muslim was doing taqiyya because you could tell by the laughing and the mocking spirit, the spirit, evil spirit of Islam that's in him, that we pray for him, that, you know, that it leaves him. Uh, yes, Islam does say that you can defend, defend it by lying even if necessary. That's according to Surah 3 verse 28. Um, 
Yes, it says, uh, except, except again, except when taking precaution against them in prudence. Um, that means when you speak to an unbeliever, you are allowed to lie. Uh, if that lie means they come to Islam or you defend Islam, because to them it's like the end justifies the means. So if the end is to glorify Islam, to further Islam, then you can lie. And Allah obviously will love you for it. Allah doesn't have the standards of the real God, Yahweh, that we can't lie under any circumstances. Um, you know, God, the real God, doesn't give us that uh, liberty because it goes against His holiness. And the Lord says you have to be perfect, just like He is perfect. So I'm going to hand over to my brother for his thought and then my sister. If that's okay with you, Atun? I fired you after the live stream. I'm already fired, sister, because <laughs> um, because I, I dropped my professionalism and I cried, and I also I'm tired of shouting at people. <laughs> so please pray for us that the Lord keeps us. Um, oh, you're you're you'll be in my prayers. You probably will Give be rehired after wisdom. the stream anyway. Okay, um, we're gonna go with sister. Sister, sister do you wanna make point? Um, yes, uh, two points. One is now you got us back to one mil. Daughter of Christ, thank you very Sorry. much. Did we get demoted back to just we got one, meal to one meal a day? So, thank we, you. We shouldn't have thrown out away the cheese, guys. We should have kept the cheese. Okay, yes. and one thing I would like to is reference scripture is um, the God of the Bible, as you said, is definitely not Allah. Um, and here's why. Um, in Proverbs 6 and 16, um, through uh, ver uh, 6 and 16, through 19. Um, the six things that the Lord hates. Um, these are seven are an abomination, a proud look, a lying tongue, which Takiya is out, and, and hands that shed innocent blood, hmm, Mohammed, um, a heart that devises wicked, devises wicked imagination, Mohammed again, feet that are swift to, to running to mischief, Mohammed again. A false witness that speaks lies. Wow. Surprisingly, Muhammad. And he that sows discord amongst brethren. I, I'm pretty sure there's a hadith where he lied somewhere and deceived people. That he did. That's my big Yes. You don't need to even think about I, it. I, yes. I, I, and what I'm saying come. is that um, the, these uh, are being allowed to lie and to deceive. We're not to, even unto death, we have to proclaim the truth. And that is why the gospel is such a unique message. And that is why Islam is so demonic and depraved and evil. Because you are allowed to do everything to deceive and to lie and to cheat and to steal. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much, sister. Um, sister, are you satisfied with the responses you had? Yeah. First, it just it, it proves my point that because of the tongue being such a small part of the body, it can create life and it can create death. And as we see with persons like the the caller before, he cannot speak life. He he can only speak death. I wonder if he will even notice that what he did and what he is doing is dragging him away from the truth and the life and the way. Because he's running away from Jesus every time he says these lies. Yeah. So, yeah, that was all I wanted to, to hear. If we could combine these two things, and it seems we could, maybe. We keep away from Allah. Mm -hmm. We keep away from Muhammad. Yeah. We keep away from Quran. Yeah. And then as we... As those are these ideologies being destroyed, it needs to be filled with Lord Jesus Christ. It needs to be filled with our triune God. So because there is no any other way for that. Um, thank you very much for calling in, sister. Yeah, you all have a great time and uh, enjoy your stay in England. God bless you, I, I think they are enjoying. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. Yep, one meal a day. Oh, and, and, and sister, Viking lady, I, I love you, sister, and I, wa I want to hear another song. Hmm. I've got Old actually... Muhammad had a plan, kill the infidel. He was very firm on that. Kill the infidel with the jihad there, jihad there. Knives and guns and swords are everywhere. 
Old Muhammad had a plan. Kill the infidels. Well done, sister. Bravo. 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 Well done, sister. <laughs> You'll take care. Enjoy each other's company and God bless you all. God bless you, God sister. God bless you, sister. Bye-bye. Bye. You got it. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Lots of people are buzzing right now. I'm going to hang up the one who is calling right now because I was waiting call from this person. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. You are in a live stream. Are you aware of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, can you tell us who are you and why uh, are you calling? I'm uh, my name's Leah. Uh, I, I'm in the UK. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to tell you uh, much much more. Um, uh, I'd love to talk to uh, Hatun Tash about um, maybe some uh, empowering female uh, points uh, about equality, uh, maybe things to do with atheism, maybe. Oh, hiya. Oh, awesome. I'm in. Cool. So are, are you atheist, sir? Am I an atheist, did you say? Yeah, I asked the question. Yes, right. yes, okay. yes. Okay, so what is, what is your problem, sir? Oh, uh, I, I want to uh, talk about... Um, well, I, did, I didn't know if Hatun Tash knew this, but um, I wanted to know what she would think about this. But uh, how does she feel about the fact that... Uh, well, I looked this up, um, and basically... Um, uh, it, it, uh, uh, basically, uh, sorry, I'm just uh, getting my getting my thought back. Um, so, uh, dogs. Uh, basically, I'm talking about dogs and wolves, uh, and I'm oh God. Uh, sorry, I'm just a bit nervous. Um, uh, basically, um, sorry, uh, just just thinking. Um, sir, uh, why yeah, don't yeah, why, why don't you why don't you just um. Write down your thoughts and then call us yep. once your thoughts are put together. That will be um, easier. Is that okay? Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've just, I was just uh, making sure I found the right right words before I say it. That's all. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Is it all right if I uh, continue? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting you to make your point, sir. So. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. So, basically... Um, I just want to know, um, okay, so, um, yeah, yeah, put down your thoughts, write down your of course, thoughts, of course, of course, yeah, yeah sure, and sure. then call yeah, yeah, us, no we, um, like this week, and this week is almost finished, but next week we will course, be having more open Skypes as well. You might <laughs> find it's helpful to just write your thoughts down, yeah. and then, um, we take it from there. Is that okay? So, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for calling in, sir. All right. No worries. Sorry about that. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Um, Hi, Hatun. Um, it's H here. You okay? Um, I am okay. Thank you. How can we help you, ma'am? I just want to say that I'm sorry for what happened to you and I condemn it 100% and it was horrible and disgusting and I hope that you feel better. Thank you very much. And, you know, no, seriously, hey, Toon, look, I, I was shocked when I saw it. Whatever you say, you don't deserve that, okay? And I'm saying sorry for all the Muslims, okay? I'm saying sorry for what that idiot did and I hope he gets locked up. I mean it. Thank, thank you very much, ma'am. I'm, I'm not... I'm not I, I just want you to know that I'm not bad. Like, I'm not... Because I'm Muslim, sometimes people judge me on the chat. They think that I'm bad, but I'm not. Um, all I can say, ma'am, is um, thank you very much for calling in and expressing your thoughts. Um, I'm, I'm just and, saying that that was wrong. Uh, the beloved ones in the chat, as you make comments regarding one another, please... Like think, uh, use your judgmental skills since seems um, some of individuals are being offended by um, certain words you are using. Please be aware of those things. Because 
because people just judge me because like when they know I'm Muslim, they just think that I'm I'm bad or something, but I'm not. And I was shocked. I feel very upset from what happened to you. I, I feel sick when I see the video. I just feel sick, you know, it's horrible. I hope they catch him, I really do. I'm I'm very shocked, really I am. You know, it's upset me. You know, Thanks so much for whatever calling you in. say, yes, hey, Tune, I know what you say hurts and stuff, and I know that it makes me upset, but you did not deserve that. You know, I swear to God. I swear. Um, th thank you very much for f calling in, ma'am. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm at work at the moment. I'm, I'm a waitress, but I just called you in the toilet just to say that I really feel bad for you and I'm sorry, okay? And please don't think I'm bad or anybody else in the chat that I'm bad because I'm Muslim. I'm not. But there are some Muslims that do bad things, but it doesn't mean that I'm bad like that or Haneen, anybody else's. Hanin, do you know why? Why someone why? Could, would possibly do that? Why? Do you know why? Have you asked yourself that? Why he would do that? What is, what is his motivation? So as far as whether or not you're a bad person, us as Christians, and the Bible tells us that the heart is deceitful, right? Yeah. That, and that, that's, everyone has a deceitful heart. And the only cure, the only solution for our deceitful hearts is, yeah. is Jesus. And so for you to tell us that you're not a bad person, that's, that's not what our Bible tells us. But as for you, you say you're not a bad person and that's, uh, you know, and that, that's, that's, that's not what you represent. That's not what, how you feel. But what do you think was his motivation for that? Where, where did he get his motivation from? He's just an idiot. He's just, um, he, he, it's just horrible. I don't even want to speak about it. It upsets me. You know, it really upsets me. Because Haytoon is like, you know, she's she's a woman. She's like really, you know, fragile, adorable. She is cute. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I might not like what she says, but she's very cute. And for somebody to do that to her, she doesn't deserve it. Seriously. But why? Why did he do because it? Because it's wrong. And according to, I mean, is there a source that says that she did deserve it? So you say that she doesn't deserve it. No, she doesn't But there's something else. No. There was a certain false prophet. And there's a certain false god who say that she did deserve it. Do you know who no, they are? No, I don't believe she did. I might, I might not. Of course, I don't agree what, with what she says, and it does upset me. But that is extreme, and that's wrong. That's wrong. End of story. You know, that's wrong. That's horrible. We agree. We agree it is horrible. You know? But you have to look at who, who ordered him, or possibly who ordered him to say that. And there are, there is a group of people, there is a false prophet and a false God who say that she yeah. deserved it. I know you said that, yes, no, you don't she, believe she deserved she it, deserve it. But there is a false prophet and a false God who say she absolutely deserved what happened and much worse. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. So you don't agree with See, you not You don't agree don't with this agree false with that, prophet no, and you don't I, agree with no. this false God. Is that correct? I, I believe in, in Islam. I believe in Allah, but I, I'm not like those bad peoples, I'm not like them, you know? I agree. I agree you're not like them. Anyway, um, I just wanted to quickly call and say, you know, that I, I feel bad for that and I condemn it and I'm sorry. You know, I feel sorry for Hayton. I feel bad for her and I feel, I don't think, I, I just feel upset by it, you know, because it makes Muslims look bad, you know? It really does. Um, you know? Thank, thank, Ma'am, thank you very much for calling. Especially thank you very much for calling while you are at work. So appreciate for your call. No, it's okay. Uh, hey, Tim, the, the thing is, I, I'll tell you the truth. There are some things that I don't agree with as well. Believe me, you know. But because I've always believed in, in God and, you know, I told you my story. You know, sometimes it's, I, I, in my heart, I feel the Quran is the truth, you know. But there, there, there are some things as well that upset me. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm, I'm worried about you because, you know, I know that you, you know, you have the right to say what you want to say, but just some people are bad. But that's what I'm worried about you, you know. Um, as I said, thank you. Thank you very much for calling in. It's okay, Hayteen. Okay. Have a good day and just get better, please. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello. 
Hey. Hey, are you? Hello, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. This is Connie. Um, can you just introduce yourself to the um, our listeners, please? Can you hear me, sister? Okay. The sound is really low. Um, it's really low on my end. Let me try to call back, maybe. Okay. We need to hang up this call. There is a sound issues. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello, sir. Um, can you tell us who are you? Yeah. My name is Sir Farhan. Are you Muslim? Are you Christian, sir? I'm a Muslim. And why are you calling this evening? Yes, I'm calling. I want to speak about the Bible. And um, I found the scripture here. Just give me two seconds while I find it. Yeah, so in the Tomori 2.22, verse, if a man meets the virgin who is not betrothed and seizes her and lies with her and they are found, then the man who lay with her shall give to the father of the young woman 50 shekels of silver and she shall be his wife because he has violated her violated her, he may not divorce her for all his days. Hello? I'm, that's from the I, Bible. I'm, I'm listening to you, sir. I'm, I'm waiting that you pull yourself together. Yes. And then you make your point. Yeah, my point is that the Bible obviously has scriptures of rape that like telling you to rape women and take them as wife, as your hostages. Do you have a response for that? And also, I want to talk about the Quran after that. So, thank you very much for calling in, sir. So, let me respond to your question. You identified yourself as a Muslim. Yeah. And I'm struggling to understand in 21st century as a Muslim, why do you have a problem with my Bible? Your Allah... Because... And listen, I listen to you. Your yeah. Allah and your Prophet... And yes. probably Blackstone altogether. They are very much happy with the Bible. Why yes. do you okay. have a problem with the Bible? That is my first response okay. to your question. My second response to your question is, whatever is in the Torah is been confirmed by your prophet. So why would you have a problem with what is in the Torah? My third yes. response okay. to my third response to your question is. Why? What, what is it wrong, not only in your heart, but in, also in your mind? The verse you read it, and have you interpreted that verse? I think that's disgraceful, and that is yes. disgusting, how you are handling the word of God. So, okay. can, you be, can you be kind enough, and then answer my basic objections, not basic, okay. yeah. basic, yeah. Ob, basic um, questions in the verse. Can you please point out me the word rape in that verse? Okay. Okay, I could do that. And then after that, I will talk about no, the Quran. No, sir. Okay, so in sir, the Bible. Sir. Yes. Pull yourself together. Okay, all right. So okay, is that your Bible, pull yourself version? So okay. point out me the word. But if a man openly country a man and meets a young woman who is betrothed, which means married, and seizes her and lies with her, then the man... Who lay with her shall die, but he, that wasn't but my question. Shall do nothing that, to the young that, woman. That wasn't my question. What was my question, sir? M Mom, your question is where does it say in the Bible? I didn't. Say, I didn't. It says on 22, 28, 29. That wasn't my question. Yeah, 20, the tomorrow, 22, 28, 29. What was my question, sir? Um, I can't remember. Okay, you can't remember. So, good. Um, 
can you tell me the the book of the Bible which you are trying to pronounce and it it is clear that you never pronounced it before so therefore your pronunciation is a okay. little bit practice Deuteronomy yeah, yeah. what is it's the context uh, listen what is the context of that book sir the context is about um, how to rape women in the Bible. What is the context of the Deuteronomy? Oh, Deuteronomy, the context. I read it again to you. Is that what you mean? What is the context of the Deuteronomy? Oh, the context. Okay, so basically, if a man meets a virgin what woman... What is the context of the Deuteronomy? The context. What does that mean? What do you mean? You don't know you don't know what this word context means. Okay. What is the book of Deuteronomy is all about? Who is it written for? When it was written by whom it was written? Oh, it was written by God, sent down to Moses, and then throughout that time it was worshipped and obviously God approved. Jesus said it can't be broken. So it came from your God. That's a false and, information. And Let's try again. Jesus I'm going to try again. Let's try again. Man. Let's try again. Don't cry now. Let's try again. Okay? Yeah. Who is the author of Deuteronomy? Can you read that, please? Who is the author yes. of Deuteronomy? I'm sorry. Um, the God. I know, I know you are making fun over there. And I am, no, no. I am, I am, I am seriously like right now practicing my patience. Okay, would this you is, like to talk about Jahannam? Because yes, this is, this is last going, time I am asking you. This is you last time Islam. I am asking you. Yes. When was the Deuteronomy is written? Um, I think, um, hold on, um. Nineteen oh five. Now I think that over that, sir, sir, five years ago, sir. I don't know when it's written, sir. I know, I know. It seems that um, because it, in Friday night, if you are based in Britain, lots of people would go to pub and they would drink and they would have fish and chips. I am assuming you missed that event and you drank a little bit camel urine. Ooh. And you are calling me with half drunk. Or okay, uh, you are calling me with leaving uh, your brain on the fridge. Okay? okay and I am saying one. that let's, I am let's, saying let's, that in very nice manner to you. Okay? Yeah. So thank now, you very much for now being since very now, nice. now, um, now, now since you. now since you are not kind of doesn't you don't even know what's happening, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer your question and then yes. I'm also going to answer the questions I asked you and then I'm yeah. going to hang up on you. As I do that, I don't want you to step in and even breathe when I speak. Okay, thank you. So, you tell me, Bible okay, so Bible since, since, you are, Bible since you are not even allowed to the answer to your basic women. question, women. Kill the elderly. since Kill you are not allowed to the answer to your question, I'm just going to hang up you on you. Thank wobbly. you. So, um, I'll answer the question. I had to hang up because he wasn't listening. He wasn't there for the answer, for me to give him answer. Deuteronomy chapter two, verse twenty. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two. It actually starts from verse twenty-five. I will read it all of it. I will read it. I will read all of it, and then I will um, make a comment. Okay, actually. Um, Anyone wants to read it in yes. case my English uh, is not mm, very good? Yes, I want this. So I I want you to, Sister Focus, I want you to read it from verse 25 to verse 30. Okay. Um, verse 25. But if in the open country a man meets a young woman who is betrothed and the man seizes her and lies with her, then only the man who lay with her shall die. But you shall do nothing to the young woman. She has committed no offense punishable by death. For this case is like that of a man attacking and murdering his neighbor because he met her in the open country and 
Though the betrothed young woman cried for help, there was no one to rescue her. So, verse 25 to 27 tells us, if the woman, if, if a woman asks for help, that's a sign that she is not giving consent to have sex. And then what is the punishment for that, sister? Death. Death punishment for that, okay? Mm -hmm. And then pick it up from verse 28. If a man meets a virgin who is not betrothed and seizes her and lies with her and they are found, then the man who lay with her shall give the father of the young woman 50 shekels of silver and she shall be his wife because he has violated her. He may not divorce her all his days. A man shall not take his father's wife so that he does not uncover his father's nakedness. Thank you. So first one is man and woman are sleeping, having sex. And then in this occasion, woman is screaming for help because woman is not giving consent. What, what is the punishment for that? Murder. Death. Death. Okay. Verse 28. When, what is happening in verse 28? When man and woman have sex, okay? And in this occasion, they are discovered. It's not one of them are asking for help. They are discovered. So there is a consent in that. Mm -hmm. What happens? Man needs to marry with the woman and cannot divorce her because he violated her. I am reading this and I am not saying anything. It is encouraging rape or anything. It is giving punishment. If you have sex with someone with outside of consent, that is rape, death penalty. And if two people having sex are being caught, they are being discovered. It says they are discovered. It's not like they are asking, anyone is asking for help. That gives the impression there is consent. And also you've got like similar in Exodus 22. In that occasion, man has to marry with the woman. So that is the answer to the question. Muslim ask the questions I ask Muslim regarding what is the context of Deuteronomy it is Moses's last sermon he knows he's not gonna make the land he is asking people to focus their eyes and their hearts to Lord and obey his commandments and his giving through the commandments and the laws, laws and reminding them to him, reminding them to his people. It is written for Israel, it is for Israelites on that time while they are in that land because they made the covenant. Remember in Exodus 20, they made the covenant. Both sides said, Yes, we will follow those laws. And then now Moses is simply reminding them the laws which they signed up for. I think that answers the question. So, does it answer the question? That does. Are you sure you don't look like that does? You don't. You don't have that does face. Oh, it does. Um, I had to hang up because he wasn't listening. He wasn't listening my question, and he wasn't listening the answer I am. I was about to give, and. I'm not in a mood to deal with the bullies right now. So I apologize for that if it is causing you to stumble. Um, I think I feel it is beauty, beauty sleep time in this part of the kitchen. <laughs> um, brother, do you have any last comments you picked up in the chat? You want to respond? Any last points you want to make? And then sister, same goes for you. I am very much aware that Skype is still buzzing. But I think we will pick up on um, another evening. Um, I just wanted to thank all of the uh, the viewers uh, who made comments and who were very encouraging uh, to us. Uh, who gave shout outs to the kitchen crew. 
we thank you, we love you uh, very much. Um, and then also really for um, the Muslims who, who are watching and who have called in, I believe, you know, I believe, you know, many of you are trying to find truth uh, and many of you are seeing the, uh, the truth of, of the unpleasant side of your, of your religion and you may not like it, you may be trying to attack my sister and trying to attack us and even attacking your own sources. Um, but ultimately, you know, that those attacks aren't going to change the truth of the Quran. They're not going to change the truth of, of the Hadith um, and, and the decisions that have been made uh, based on the, the, the Quran and the Hadith. So I would say, um, yeah, use, your, use the brain that, you're, uh, that God's given to you. Um, and then pray, pray to the real God, pray to the triune God to give you discernment. Uh, and give you clarity and to have the courage really to uh, to seek the truth. Um, thank you for those last um, remarks. Um, sister, do you want to make any comments, any, anything you picked up from the chat? Um, I, again, the piggyback off what Brother has just said, um, thank you for the, um, the encouragement, but uh, also it's, it, imperative that those that don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior that they come to him and that they repent and that they believe um, and accept him as their Lord and Savior because he's the only way the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ um, and it's the, the true gospel the word of God is true and it says let every man be alive and and Muhammad was a lie. I mean, everything he said was a lie. And calling in, trying to make a mockery of the the gospel, um, it shows foolishness on your part. And sadly enough, um, I, I just pray that God opens up your eyes and that you repent. Um, I can't say it as well as uh, Sister Hatoum, the glorious gospel. Um, so eloquently um, but again just thank you everyone for showing up and um, participating and again uh, don't forget to if you're a believer to share the gospel wherever you go uh, uh, yeah I can't add any more than my brother and sister I just learned something new today sister that Deuteronomy was written in 1905 so we only just missed Moses, Moses by like a couple of decades so <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's why people say you learn something new every day. That's yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want to make a point, um, which I kind of noticed a couple of comment on it. It is not my intention to make this comment, I'm, but I'm just making the comment. Okay. I don't need anyone to feel sorry for me. Mm. I don't need anyone to call in and express, oh, how sorry I am. I condemn this, do, do this, blah, blah. Um, yes, we con in the body of Christ, yes, we do concern for one another. Therefore, we pray and we step in and we pray more. Uh, but outside of the body of Christ, calling me and expressing that you are sorry means nothing to me. Reason for that is instead of feeling sorry for me, you got to feel sorry for yourself. And reason for that is you, you do not worship crucified Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, that is one of the saddest things someone can ever have in their life. So, instead of expressing your sorry feelings, ideal thing can be done is read the Gospels, read the biography of Jesus, and then see his heart for you. Because we don't want to, we don't want to feel sorry for us and then eat chocolate cake, cheesecake, all those kind of things, and then feel better afterwards or feel more sorry afterwards. We are already in a deep hole in that hole, 
I know I can be seen and I am taken from that hole. Why? Because Lord Jesus Christ gave himself for me. He didn't watch from the far distance and then try to figure out what was happening. Versus some of the individuals who have not turned to Lord Jesus Christ, they are in the depths of that hole. And only way they can move from that hole is accepting Jesus. There is no any other way. There is no any other way their sorry feelings can change. When we see certain things we see on YouTube, on television, wherever we see, that should bring us our knees and makes our hearts to cry for the lost because they do not know Lord Jesus Christ. That's first point. Second point is, um, we don't need people to feel sorry and, I don't know, change their Sunday activities, turn up the speakers corner, or turn up the different places to mosque or something else. We need people who, whose heart is actively beating and beating and beating for the lost to simply go out and engage those who do not know Lord Jesus Christ yet. Do not change your Sunday activities. Do not change your Sunday activities because you feel sorry for someone. Change your lifestyle because you see how Lord Jesus Christ poured his heart out to people. Feeling sorry for someone is not going to give them eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, his heart bleed for us. We need to point people to him, not point people to one another and feel sorry for one another. Mm -hmm. I really don't want that to come across ugly because I am very much aware that uh, some of you are actively planning your Sunday activity stuff, but you've got to, you've got to be faithful to Lord Jesus Christ and see his heart and act for it. Don't make your moves because you feel so-called sorry for five foot two woman. That is just wrong and that is not biblical at all. Um, I think I'm not naming the people, but I think you know who I was addressing. If that was not clear, I apologize. If you think this was um, came out in an ugly way and heartbreaking, uh, and it caused you to stumble, please do forgive me for that. And um, in that note, um, thank you for everyone who called in and thank you for everyone who hold on the line to take their turn to speak. And of course, we give all thanks to God for um, hearing from our brother how he and his family turned to Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, there is a party in heaven. There is a party in heaven. Um, so it is always great joy. And um, thank you very much for all of the moderators who kind of kept, kept people in order, as well as thank you very much all of you who took time from your family and your friends and your other activities and um, you were with us tonight. So God bless you all. We will see you on another live stream at Speaker's Corner or Bosom of the Father. God bless you all.